Virgin Atlantic operate out of Terminal 3 at London's Heathrow Airport. As soon as you walk through the terminal doors, you'll be greeted by Virgin check-in desks. Once you're all checked in, upper-class passengers can use the exclusive route through security, accessed by its own personal lift with its own red carpet. Upper class has its own security channel and once cleared you head through the terminal to the lounge. Will you join us here in the beautiful upper class lounge of Virgin Atlantic and we're going to show you a little bit later on how you can get in somewhere like this for a fraction of the price. But for now, let's just enjoy these beautiful cocktails and this beautiful weather. So as Lizzie has said earlier, we're here at the Upper Class Lounge at Heathrow Terminal 3 and um, unfortunately gone are the days where you can flutter your eyelids at the check-in desk and try and blag a, a, an upgrade, it just doesn't seem to happen very often. I know some people get it, but we've never been lucky enough. Even though we work in the aviation industry, it's impossible, you know, we, we try our hardest, but yeah, we've got to pay like everyone else, but you can do it a lot cheaper. <laughs> it's like, oh, you didn't know what the camera was. Another option is you could always get a credit card that has reward points on it. So every time you spend money, you gain points that can be then converted into air miles. Now we don't tend to do that. However, it is an option that is available for you.
Thank you. Bye. 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 So as you can see, we've made it to New York. That's the Hudson behind us. Uh, Intrepid is right next to us as well. And we're gonna go and have a look at that uh, now. So if you haven't already seen that video, go and check that out. Okay, so I'm sure you all wanna know how we ended up in upper class for a lot less money than the ticket costs. And we did that by bidding. We bidded on the flight. Now, certain airlines allow you to do that, and Virgin Atlantic is one of them. You have to have already bought a ticket. We had bought a couple of seats in premium economy. We got those seats for uh, around about a thousand um, British pounds for two return. Uh, so two seats return. As you approach the time that your flight is, so about 10 days before I think it is, maybe seven days before, uh, you can go onto your booking online and it gives you an option to bid on the actual seats on an upgrade. Now, I think it's an upgrade to the class above so if you'd already bought economy seats you can then upgrade uh, to premium economy and if you bought premium economy you can then upgrade to upper class now as you can see there's a slider uh, function and the more you bid the more likely you are to get those seats now a good thing to do is to have a look have a quick look at it, whether you can book four six eight seats in upper class and then judge it um, from that. Now I had a quick look, there were plenty of seats available, so I actually put in the lowest. Uh, that's low, isn't it? So yeah, I bid two more increments up from the lowest, and that, according to Virgin's bidding thing, is quite a low offer. So they kind of say that it's quite a low chance that you're going to get these seats. But um, I, put, I thought I'd go two above, so anyone that just thinks I'll bid the lowest, we should beat them, if you see what I mean. So we did that and we got notification uh, as we were approaching our trip that we had won the seats. To recap, we bought premium economy seats for about £1,000, which is obviously not cheap. And then we paid, just for that one leg to New York, we paid £635 each for that one leg as an upgrade. Now, yes, that is quite a lot of money, but have a look here. Uh, I, I, as I was approaching the trip, I had looked for two seats, one way to New York, Heathrow to New York in upper class, and it was over 13,000 pounds. That's crazy. That's a crazy amount of money. So that's just showing you how you can get in upper class for a fraction of the price of the actual tickets. We've done this with Etihad as well. Etihad will also allow you to bid on the legs. Uh, we managed to do that and we won those by doing just the lowest plus £10. Um, so yeah, give it a go. <laughs> you might also be lucky. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We do loads of traveling, often in our camper van all around Europe. And yeah, here in places like New York. So please subscribe and uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Have you bid on upgrades? Have you managed to blag your way into upper class without paying for an upgrade? If so, let us know in the comments how you did it, because we don't seem to be able to do it. <laughs> don't forget to check out our tour of New York. We're off to Intrepid. We'll see you in the next video.